Hey everybody, welcome back to this Yokomo SD9 Sport kit build series. Today we're going to be building the front and the rear hub carriers. And in the next video, we're going to install them onto the chassis. So for today, we need contents of bag 9 and 10. Alright, let's get started. Uh, first step, we're going to work on the front hub carriers and it looks like it's going to be these two right here we need a universal and we need two bearings and the ball stud so let's grab those bearings that's easy enough let's take a look if there's a left and a right don't see any markings here but I assume it's going to be one this way and one this way Universal to help me push it in. Just like that. And then I'm going to find a ball stud. It says it's the black ball stud. And again, it, I can use a two millimeter. And it's just that hole right there. All right, there's one. Let's build the second one. Okay, so the next step is very tricky, so we really have to pay attention. We're going to put together the steering hub carrier and the steering block. And first thing we need to do is cut out a couple of the kingpin collars. I got one right here. And we're going to push this through and make sure you're holding the one where the three holes is on the same side as the ball stud. So this is the one you want, okay? So I'm gonna put it in there like that. Now let's take a look over here. There are three kinds of ball studs. There's a black one with a circular collar, a silver one with a hex collar, and a black one with a hex collar. We're gonna be using this one for on top of there in a second there. But first I'm going to put in the kingpin. Again, there's two kingpins. I'm going to put in the bottom one, which is the silver short one. Okay, now I'm going to put the collar in there. And then the black king pin. Make sure you still have full range of motion. And I do. And like I said, the last step is to put the silver ball stud into the center hole. All right. Let me do the other one. Okay, the other side is exactly the same. This time we're going to use the steering block that the ball stud is on that side. And the three holes is going to be on the same side as the ball stud. And it's going to drop in from this side like that again i'm going to use the silver kingpin all right let me just show you what they look like when they're done so on the top there are silver ball studs and black kingpins and on the bottom is the silver kingpin and make sure there is a collar right there where the top kingpin meets the steering block. And don't turn the screw too tight. You want to leave a little bit of gap so you have full range of motion and, and that the collar doesn't get squished. All right. So those are the front. Let me set them aside. Let's start working on the back. All right, the back is actually very straightforward. Going to have one bearing in the front and one bearing in the back. Okay. 
try again. All right, look, the hole is uh, full now. I can put the pin through. After this step, there's only one more step, which is to put the ball stud, and it's going to be the black hex ball stud onto the second hole from the front. Okay, let's build the other side. All right, the other side is exactly the same, just like that. So now we're done with assembling them. Let's move on to the next step. We're going to attach them to the lower arms. Okay, so the lower arms are on two trees that look exactly like this. And if you can tell, there's one with the ball stud and one without. So they are actually different. So the other side, the other tree is exactly the same and they're right here. So the one with the ball stud on this side right here is the rear and this one is the front. So let's start working on the front first. So I'm going to cut this one out as well. The arm where the side with the slant is going to be on the same side as the arm here in the ball stud. All right. So we're going to drop this in. And through the hole here, the smaller of the two holes, we're going to connect it to the top hole. We need to put a ball stud right here in the center hole. And it happens to be the one that has a circular collar now. And there's one more step we can't miss, and that is to put the 4x8 set screw, which is this right here, through that hole. Okay, and then the last step on this picture right here is to put the 6x5 screw into this hole right there. And I need to bring out my hobby screwdriver because this hole is quite small. Okay, there we go. One side is done, just like that. Now we're going to assemble the other side. Same thing, except we're going to flip this over. So again, let's pay attention. The arm with the slant is going to be on the same side as the arm where the ball stud is. And we're going to drop it in here. on this side and we're going to push a pin the shorter of the pins through the smaller hole onto the top hole of the steering block the rear is also pretty straightforward right here with there's a, about the same number of steps. Um, the rear hub carriers are identical uh, left and right, so there's no difference. You have to make sure you don't build the same arm uh, direction twice. So there's one arm. So let's make sure we have them both laid out so we know which is which. So for this one, we need another small pin. And we're going to go through the small hole again. But this time we're going to go through the bottom hole on the hub carrier. Okay. Again, we're going to put the set screw This hole. Okay. 
And again, we need to put the stubby screw onto the front, onto that hole right there. Let's go work on the other one. Okay, here's the pin. Going to push it in through this hole onto the bottom hole of the hub carrier. And for both of these, we need to put a ball stud right here on the outside hole, right there. All right, I'm gonna end the video right here. We put together the front and rear hub carriers and we put them on to the lower arms. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of it, please drop a like, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.